outside your door. Can you let me in? Fast? I don't know. There's people in the hall out here, and I'm kind of creeped out. No, they're not doing anything. I'll, I'll explain when I come in. Please. <laughs> Hey, no, come in with me. No, 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 it's fine. Don't go out there. Because there are some creeps that were knocking on my door like 10 minutes ago and I don't know if it's them. No, do not go out there. They didn't do anything. They were just knocking a lot. And they wouldn't leave. I think they were trying to open my door. When I tried to tell them to go away, I started hearing a noise at my window. It doesn't even lock. I checked earlier when I got in. And I, I just... running to my co-worker's room in the middle of the night like I'm some child afraid of the dark as if we don't have to attend that conference together in like just a matter of hours and pretend to be all professional after this I mean come on thank you for trying to make me feel better about that but I don't think Seeing you in your pajamas is exactly the same thing. You seem to have planned better for getting caught in them. I will never pack a nightgown to a work function again. Really? It'll make it easier for you to present in front of me now. Isn't that supposed to be picturing somebody in their underwear? Not their jammies? <laughs> yeah. That would be great. Thank you. Anything is fine, really. I'm so embarrassed. This is what I'm wearing right now. I didn't even have time to grab my slippers, and going barefoot in a hotel is like the grossest. Yeah, the sweater is fine. I don't care if it's too big. I would just like to cover up a little bit. I am freezing. Ugh. Thanks. Um, do you mind? Okay, you can turn around. I am so sorry for coming over here like this, practically flashing you. <laughs> what was that? Excuse me. Do you see anything about the people? I, I don't, I don't want to go out there right now. God, I'm so sorry. Here I am imposing on you in the middle of the night and I am just inviting myself to stay. Oh, come on. Yes, I am imposing. I can tell that you are asleep. Oh, I would recognize that sleep face of yours anywhere. Do you know how many times I've walked in on you napping in the break room? Oh, yes, I have. Otherwise, how would I know that you get such bad bedhead? Here. Your whole skull looks lopsided with your hair like that. Right? It would be humiliating if your favorite coworker saw you like this. Here, I'll help you. Kendra? She's your favorite coworker. Wow, okay, then you can go ask Kendra for help with your hair. What? I didn't pull, I ruffled. <sighs> Sorry. I am so shaky and jumpy right now. Yeah, you're probably right. 
it's probably just people messing around. Jesus. When did hotels stop being fun? When they stopped being for vacation and started being for work, I guess. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. Sorry. I am probably just being so paranoid. I don't know why, but that room was freaking me out anyway. Maybe it's haunted. Ew, don't say that. I'm s I don't want to think about that right now. It's probably just this part of town, right? For how much our bosses make, I don't see why they couldn't have booked us somewhere nicer. Stay. Like, the night here with you? I... I mean, that's not necessary, right? It was, it was just people who were knocking on my door, and probably it was the wind at my window. I'm probably just being scared. Which is stupid. I just get paranoid when I'm traveling by myself. I could just wait until the hallway clears out. And maybe you could watch from your door that I get back inside my room, okay? I don't know, but whoever was there, they have to be gone, right? And that way, you can go back to sleep. Why? What time is it? Okay, at the very least, I owe you coffee in the morning. Yeah, the conference is going to be so much worse running on no sleep. That's really kind of you to offer, but I, I can't accept. Wait, did they upgrade your room? Wow. So I guess nicer isn't really the issue here so much as safer. This room's fine. It's great, even. I guess you're the favorite after all, huh? No way, because my room definitely does not have a king-sized bed or... <laughs> okay, I'll stay. Jesus. I swear to God, I am not usually like this. I don't know. They probably just had the wrong room, right? It just, it seemed like it's nothing. Well, I was in bed and I shouted at them to tell them they were at the wrong door. And when I did, that's when they stopped trying to open it and they started pounding on it. They didn't say anything. There's no way I was getting out of bed to look. I don't even know if it was a man or a woman or... It just gave me a bad vibe that once they heard me tell them and they knew it was just a girl inside. I don't know. I'm probably crazy. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> crazy in other ways. How rude. Okay. Wow. Thank you for double checking the locks on the door. Me go back to sleep. There's no way that I can. Yeah, I mean, sorry. I was trying to. But I, I can't go back to sleep. Not after that. And not now that I'm here with you. Way underdressed for this rendezvous, obviously. This is the last time I take a nightgown to function like this. Shut up. What? No way. Yeah, and how are you going to survive tomorrow if you don't sleep? I lay there, frozen, forever, debating whether they had left the door so I could make a run for it to your room. What? I was going to call you from my bed, but I didn't want you getting shanked on your way over. You're welcome, by the way. I didn't know what else to do. Seriously, though, thank you for opening the door and letting me in. 
I appreciate that you are a person who sleeps with their ringer on, but you should go back to bed. I'll just hover creepily by the door. Yeah, you're right. I would be just listening to every single sound of this hotel. And you're right, it's just a hotel. I know there's gonna be sounds, but... Oh yeah, you're gonna fight that guy if he comes back. No way, we would hide in the bathroom or something more brilliant than your plan. Okay. I, I'll stay for a little while. No, no coffee right now, thank you. After me, after you. Um, thanks. <laughs>